Hi, I'm Chris from DinoJet. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Power Commander 5 with fuel and ignition control onto this 2014 Honda Rancher 420. To install this unit, we're going to need to remove the seat, the panel above the battery, and the panel surrounding the fuel tank. We'll go ahead and get started by popping the seat off. Next, we'll loosen the trunk, and we'll pop off this battery cover. Next, we want to remove the panels surrounding the fuel tank. All of them should pop out. Start with the bottom. Work the bottom off. Once you get one side loose, come over to the other side. Pop it loose there. Once it's loose, the whole thing should be able to lift off and out. The module is going to be stored in the compartment just in front of the battery. We'll need to route the harness underneath the rear rack. We'll store the module in the right hand side of the compartment with the supplied Velcro and alcohol swab. We'll route the harness following alongside the stock wiring and going up the right side frame rail. Just behind the right rear fender well and inside of this plastic panel here, you can find a pair of gray two-pin stock connectors. And these are the stock connectors for our engine's crank position sensor. We're going to unplug the stock gray two-pin connectors. The Power Commander harness has a pair of gray two-pin connectors. And those will go in line with the stock connectors. Once the Power Commander is plugged in, you can store those stock connectors and the new Power Commander connectors right back where you found them behind this plastic panel. I'm also going to find a common ground right here at this location, which is a perfect place to secure my Power Commander's ground wire with the small ring lug. Remove the stock bolt, push the bolt through the ring lug on the Power Commander harness, and then resecure the bolt, putting all the ground wires directly onto the frame. The rest of the Power Commander harness can be routed here towards the throttle body. Right here at the top of the throttle body, I could find the fuel injector. I'm going to unplug the fuel injector, and I'm going to plug the Power Commander harness in line with the fuel injector and the stock wiring harness connector for the fuel injector. Here on the left hand side of the throttle body I can find the throttle position sensor. I'm going to unplug the stock electrical connector from the TPS. I need to attach my single unterminated gray wire on the power commander harness to the stock blue wire with black tracer of the TPS. I'm going to use my supplied posi tap to make that connection. The gray nut of the posi tap is going to go on to the blue wire with a black tracer. Then the pointed end of the posi tap is going to screw on to the gray nut. I'll take the red nut of the posi tap, slide that over the Power Commander's gray wire, I'll insert the gray wire into the body of the posi tap and I'll thread the red nut down on top of it. That's going to securely fasten the Power Commander's gray wire to the stock blue wire with the black tracer. After making that connection, I can plug the TPS back in. Our last connection on the Power Commander harness is to the quad's ignition coil, which unfortunately is underneath this ECM bracket. So to access the coil a lot easier, we can loosen the ECM from the bracket and remove this one bolt right here at the top. Once the bolt's removed, this, this holder can pop out of place. And that should give you enough room to access the ignition coil underneath. I'm going to route the Power Commander leads with the spade connectors with the green and red colored wires 
down here to the ignition coil. At the ignition coil, I can find a stock black red wire going to the black spade on the ignition coil. The Power Commander's red wires with white tracers are going to plug in line with that stock wire and the coil. I can also find a stock green wire with a yellow tracer, which is the signal wire of my coil, going to the green tab on the coil. The stock green yellow wire is going to attach to the Power Commander's solid green wire. The white green wire on the Power Commander harness is going to go straight on to the green coil tab. Now after making these connections, I need to be sure to slide my insulators over the spade terminals just to make sure that nothing's going to touch anything metal or short out under the tank. Once the Power Commander is plugged into the coil, that will finish up all of the connections of the Power Commander's main wiring harness. And that will conclude all of our connections. All we need to do now is reinstall the bodywork in the seat.